Hi Capricorn, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your weekly reading from the 10th to the 16th uh, of February and I'm using the Surrender Deck, I'm using the Angel Feather Deck, I'm using Wayne Dyer Deck Inspiration and I'm also using the Witch's Oracle Deck. Then I'm using the Wild uh, wild wood tarot and I think they're gorgeous and um, I'm I'm using them for Monday, Wednesday, Friday and the weekend and the clarifier for the all over energy. Now why am I why have I chosen the, these decks? That's because I'm not doing any clarification cards because I think sometimes it is um, an, a challenge to simplify things because that's the most difficult and I'm going to read it in a different way. I'm just going to do what I have in front of me. You can also use the oracle cards or the inspiration cards, like the word says, to inspire you. Food for thought. You hear me say that. Food for thought. And that is what my readings are. Food for thought. To make sure that I motivate you, that I hopefully inspire you or stimulate you to think about your uh, situation, your ideas and how you can adjust by making your life, by making decisions and choices. Now with the surrender deck that might be um, a message uh, to show you that you or attend, uh, um, how do you call it? It might just make you more aware of where you can uh, polish up the facets, okay? And that will help you clear out your chakras, heal you from sadness or whatever the meaning the card is giving you or the message. The same with the angel feather card. You can use the color to eat, to wear, to meditate. And that is something extra. That is like therapy healing, color, a color therapy healing. So the angels will give you something extra. And I will give you the angel for the week as well, which I uh, have not given yet. Usually I do that on Sunday nights. But the tea room is getting lovely and busy. Then we have got Wayne Dyer, and that's the inspiration card. And I've got the Witch's Oracle. So, um, I do have to grab the book from the Angels, because with the Angels feather card, um, you, do, you do get the Angel for the week. Okay, so here we go. First of all, I'm going to start off with the Eight of Thessals, Rebirth. And the Eight of Thessals mean it says rebirth. That could be um, right um, because um, the Eight of Cups, that's the Thessals, looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? It usually depicts somebody walking away from the old routine, from the cups. They're leaving the cups behind. So it is a new beginning, but... Um, what I would like to say to you is be careful because when I see this card, I always say don't throw anything away or don't walk away from something um, if you haven't got something new. Perhaps you there is something new, but you're not you're not seeing it. Okay. So make sure that there is a new start or something to replace the old. Then we're going on to Wednesday, and you have the Four of Arrows. And the Four of Arrows um, is the Four of Swords. And I love the way this is being depicted. You've already got the moth or a butterfly. Okay, and it means rest in this deck. Indeed, it means rest um, because it's advising you to take time out or to do a retreat or take a small break. It is time now to um, have a look what's happening in your life or with your ideas. What can you um, improve? What do you need? What do you not need? 
and if you take time out and actually it's a good advice if you do that every day 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes at night you will rejuvenate you will take your rest your space and you will nurture and love yourself in that respect because you're taking time out just for you and if you do that then your mind also knows that and accepts that and says all oh, right tweak this she or he you are um, doing a reset you are actually taking care of me and that is you know that is your subconscious realizing that you love yourself and you will see improvement because if you nurture yourself with just 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes um, in the evening and just sit quietly let the ideas come into you get a little diary or a, a block note and a jotter and let the ideas come in and um, just write them down even with your eyes closed and see that's the fun see whether um, whether it does anything for you when you open your eyes again now you can use uh, the color or you can use the, the, the message of the inspiration for your meditative word. Or you can say um, um, and ah uh, in the evening, um in the morning, and ah uh, in the ah uh, uh, evening. Just to create that peace and rest. When you do sit quietly and you do not say anything, you do not do a mantra, um, then you can just listen to what's coming in and to your thoughts your ideas your feelings your intuition and write them down and then in another moment of the day or at the end of the week you look back at what you've written and see whether any advancement or change has come to what you have written down and let go of um things that you don't need in this these quiet moments something might come up and say oh no she's or he is not a real friend let go let go literally or figuratively that is up to you but you've got a transformational period because you've got the butterfly okay so spread your wings and let things go that you don't need spread your wings and look for something that is coming in <clears throat> excuse me on Friday you've got the six of arrows and it says transition well I was just talking about transformation transition that was the butterfly on Wednesday now the six of arrows is the six of swords that means that you are leaving the, the rough waters behind you you're going into smoother waters look at the waters this is quite a gentle picture really but you can see that the boat is moving forwards because of the ripples okay you might be moving home you might be going on holiday like I said it's time to take a break so you might be going on holiday and you might even cross water So that is moving forwards towards this new beginning, the rebirth. Then we've got the six of vessels, and this is really gorgeous. Reunion, there might be a reunion. The six of cups, reunion, somebody might be coming back from the past and might be bringing you a gift. And all of a sudden, I get the idea, perhaps you might be going out into nature, into a place where there are a lot of trees, to take your rest. Okay. That is beautiful. Overall, there is something unexpected happening, because you've got the, the blast oak. And now I'm hearing... A blast from the past so something might be coming back to you towards you and you 
might be knowing this already and you might be taking a break before uh, and start to think about is this really what I want? What happened in the past? Was it good? If it was good, then accept it. Take it back into your life. If it was negative, then let it go. And that's where you discover it, when you are sitting quietly. But something is happening unexpectedly. This is the tower in the traditional deck. <clears throat> Sorry. You might actually be moving to an apartment. You might actually be moving um, um, in your work towards a high-rise building. But something was not built on proper foundations. And this could be that person from the past. So, you know what happened in the past. You don't want to repeat it. Then meet it head on and be friendly and say, oh, it's nice to see you or not, but I don't want the past back. You are the one that can decide. So the story is you want something new. You don't want what you've got now. You're looking for adventure, excitement. And remember, life has its ups and downs. Okay, don't feel depressed. Take time out. There is a transformational period before you can start this new beginning. But you are at the end of the week. You are moving forwards towards this new beginning because a move of a home or a move of a job is also a new beginning. There might be somebody that you meet, a reunion uh, from the past in this new job or where you are going to live in this new place. And it will be unexpected. It could be nice, it could be drastic. It could be something very unexpected happening. But the tower also means an unexpected change is also a new beginning. You didn't, couldn't decide, okay? So the universe and the angels stepped in and gives you this new unexpected beginning. Then we have surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional and spiritual healing. Like I said, the tower, you couldn't make that decision. So the universe and the angels are stepping in. So open up to that energy and surrender yourself to that energy. You might not um, believe in angels or you might not believe in the universe. Just start at this moment by opening up and see how it goes. I will let you into a secret Capricorn and it might sound crazy. I don't believe that I didn't believe in angels, not the way that they are depicted with wings and all the uh, luxurious and voluptuous uh, gowns they wear and everything and the holy light. Um, no, I am down to earth. I'm not, uh, I don't drift in the maybes and in the clouds. I don't have my head in the clouds, as they say. So there are angels. There are angels in heaven and there is a, that we call heaven or in that freak, frequency, in that dimension. And there are angels here on earth. But you have to see the innocent. You have to see the beauty. You have to see the love. The earth angels are people that are amazing. They are just, they've got humans. They are humans as well, but they're loving giving, healing, nurturing people. They, they do everything with compassion. That is earth angels. They don't sit around wanting to be paid for everything that they give. They are more givers than receivers. Okay. And I thank God I'm blessed with those kind of people. And that is but that you can open up to. Start with the earth angels. See the beauty. See 
the love, see the compassion, see the pink. Don't look through pink glasses, just literally see them, the love. The pink is for me, love. The white light is the purity, like in this card. Just try to see people, but don't look at people through pink colored glasses. That is not real. So see the earth angels and then you can start understanding what the heavenly angels are. That is also a vibration, the feelings, knowing that they're there. You're never alone. And I do believe in angels. I might be nuts. People have declared me for nuts. But I do believe in angels because they are our ancestors and friends. Now, for the angel feather, we've got the coral angel feather. Show a friend today that you care. The angels understand the importance of friendship and ask that you make an effort today to remind a friend how loved they are. Wow, and that is coral. And that is orange. So that is your sacred your sacral <coughs> area of your body. And that is Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel will be there for you and with you when you sit quietly and think of the co coral colour. Okay, now we're going to Wayne Dyer. And Wayne Dyer, expect the best. Expect the best. Yes, you are in a transformational period and you're going forwards. And like I say, see the good in people. They are also human, so they do have their nitty and gritty and their moments. But expect the best and try to see the best. Change your expectations for yourself. Expect the best. Expect divine guidance. Expect your fortunes to change. Expect a miracle. When you were in spirit, prior to a materializing, your aim was high and your expectations were godlike. Reacquaint yourself with that vision. And I said, the universe is stepping in. Okay, so the message here, you had high expectations before you were born. So re-aim, your aim was <clears throat> high, so go back to that same level of thinking. Don't settle for anything less than perfect. It will never be perfect here on earth. But don't go back to old habits. If somebody's coming back that hurted you, don't go back. You can give somebody a second, a second chance, but it will never be the same again. Because once you break a plate, plate for example, there is a crack in it. The crack cannot be mended, mended. You can adjust, but you both have to learn to adjust and to see things differently. Now, for the Witch's Tarot, you've got the Skeleton Key. When you are st stuck in a situation without hope or ideas, these two cards that resonate with, because you want something new but you can't see it yet, you might not have not decided because the universe stepped in. Wow! Which you seem to be at that moment, use the symbolism of the key as a way of unlocking new prospects and finding solutions. So sit quietly, think, and let the ideas come in. Use that key. Okay, expect the best, expect the best for the orange co uh, coral colored angel feather. Hold this card up to your third eye, envision a locked door before you then take the key and unlock the door now you haven't got this card but you can take any old key with you and when you sit quietly you can take the key and 
hold it to your third eye, just on your forehead, and just say that. The, and the incantation that you can say is, this key will open the doors. All locks have keys. All wind has breeze. More doors swing open with re relative ease. This key I hold is a metaphor to unlock all doors that were locked before. Okay, so you can use that. That is so beautiful. Well, Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Um, I just mm, no, uh, remembered it is um, Valentine's Day this week. Of course, I hope that everybody will have a beautiful well, uh, Valentine. And I hope your wishes are going to come true. So I did pull an extra card from the Romance Angel Romance deck. And it says, pay attention to red flags. There is a warning out. Okay, this could be good. This could be negative. Um, I'll tell you why. And the signs are cautioning you. Okay, something unexpected is going to happen. This could be somebody from the past because you've got the Six of Cups. Somebody coming back and giving you a gift. It could be somebody that you loved. Okay, but they weren't free. Or their, uh, their heart and uh, solar plex, uh, uh, their emotional chakra wasn't open. And now something has dawned on them. And... They are free. Their emotions, their heart and their solar plex is open to receive and to give love. Wow. Perhaps that is what you are already knowing. Somebody is coming back unexpectedly. And you might be taking time out to think about this situation and evaluate it. Well, Cappy, I hope it's going to be what you want. You've got the key in your own hands. So remember, you can open the door and you can close the door. Okay, my darlings, thank you very much. And sorry that it's a bit of a mix up at the end, but it's better late than never. Remember that and please share and like with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Take care and please hit that subscribe button uh, because Google is uh, deleting people or not, uh, not Google, YouTube, because they are changing the system. There's a lot of changing uh, changes happening, and I'm hearing it from a lot of readers. Brenda Tarot readings, then also Northeast Tarot readings, and lots more, and also Minipal. Those are a couple of the beautiful channels that I, I do watch myself. So go and have a look at those channels. Take care and be blessed.